806 right now polls are open for voters to decide who they want to represent the Republican side of the Greenville County Sheriff's race. Big day. Whoever wins moves to a, a special election set in March. Fox Carolina's Grace Runkle is live in Simpsonville with more on the candidates. Grace. Good morning. Yeah, we're live right now at Five Forks Baptist Church where the polls have been open for about an hour. You can see behind me here we've got some more voters coming in. There's been about two dozen coming in this morning and of course when they take a look at their ballots they just have to choose between two names. There's Hobart Lewis and A.T. Smith. Those candidates squeezed in one last debate yesterday at the Greenville Republican headquarters. Both men were the front runners of the Republican primary just two weeks ago. Lewis took the lead with 37 percent of the votes. Smith had about 32. They both spent the last two weeks with voters trying to secure a lead, and all they, although they have butted heads on the campaign trail, they agreed on several points at last night's debate. They said that the department needs to be more diverse, and they need to do a better job of keeping kids out of crime, and both say the office needs a new image. I think that the folks in the county will make the right choice because I think we're ready to turn a page on law enforcement and to have professional uh, transparent and accountable law enforcement in Greenville County. The Sheriff's Office and law enforcement in general in the upstate has been in a very, very tough situation in some trying times, and I certainly believe I'm the person to bring us back together from a community standpoint and a law enforcement standpoint. Polls opened at 7 o'clock this morning, so they've been open for about an hour, but you have until 7 o'clock to cast your ballot. The winner of today's runoff will go up against the lone Democratic candidate, Paul Guy. He hosted a town hall last night and told voters he wants to make the department more proactive by changing how it polices. And, of course, we'll be following very closely as those votes start to come in after 7 o'clock tonight. And we're going to be staying on top of this story as we build up to that big special election come March. Isaac?